hey, welcome to today's video. We're gonna discuss how to make money with Placeit in 2020. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Hey, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay, so here we are inside Placence Licensing. This is what they tell you what you can and cannot do. You can use Placent to add, alter, and modify content to make a final design. You can publish, broadcast, display, and distribute the content you create with Placent. Here's the one that you will find interesting as well as I did when I read it. You are free to create content for a client and sell for a fee. For instance, I can create whatever content I want inside Place It and then sell it to somebody on Fiverr and it's completely legal. You can put your design on any kind of product and then sell those products. What that means is I can, if I have a Teespring store, Red, which I do have a Teespring shop, uh, Redbubble, Society6, whatever print on demand um, shop you may have, you can design those products and go ahead and put them on those designs uh, products and sell them. So that's pretty cool. You can apply to register trademarks with the designs and logos you make. You cannot take place its content and distribute it as part of a design tool, stock images, or templates. Don't do that. You can't take place its content and use it to make your own version of place it. Duh. You can't use a final product that contains an image of a person or third party brands in a way that is derogatory or implies to endorse it by them. Well, that, everybody should know you can't do that. But the things you can do, uh, you're free to create all the content you want and sell it for a fee. And I suggest you do it at a place that's really easy to get started doing it at Fiverr. And here, when we get done talking about places, I will show you the gig that I set up in Fiverr just recently where I'm using the Placeit account to create this content. Well, let's get started to show you some of the things you can design and make money with on Fiverr in Placeit. All right, the first thing we want to talk about is the designs. You can design t-shirts and place it that you can place on any print-on-demand uh, shop. They not, not only can you design those t-shirts, you can also create mock-ups for those t-shirts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, where, where they have the t-shirt designs, and I'm just going to show you a few that I've already created real quick. So you can see over to the left here, there are all types of different templates for um, different genres, I guess you could call it, or niches. And you would just choose one of these and you know change this template. So I could go and choose this, and I could change this template any way I want to. All right, so if I wanted to change the color, I could change the color. Now I'm just gonna do this real quick. Uh, if I wanna change the color of the lettering, I can. Um, I wanna change the words, I can. Uh, get wrecked. <laughs> All right, um, if I don't like the font, I could change the font to something I think will look better. All right, um, if I want to get rid of all that right there, I can. I don't, maybe I don't want that on there. You know, the MMX, so, uh, which is just a year. I'll get rid of that if I don't want it. I could add anything I want there. Uh, if I wanted to make this bigger, I could make this bigger. I could modify all this one. I want to change the graphics inside there, I can. I could just simply change this to cats. And it will give me all these cool shit for cats. And I want to change that center to a cat. You know, these two right here fighting a dog and a cat, and I got get wrecked in there. See how I'm going with this? And then I can change the transparent background. Uh, it's a better color. I want to change the background and say I want it transparent. I could do that easily, and I could add that to a shirt. All right, and I could change all the colors here. Uh, say I want the main graphic to be black. You can see the main gra graphic will be black. So uh, I could change it to any color I want. You can see there's a big color wheel. Now let's just go look at some of the ones I've done. Right, you can see all the t-shirt, all the designs that I made. Now, some, some of these are logo designs. Some are meant for t-shirts. All right. And I have a bunch of them in here. Or right, here's a t-shirt design I did recently, uh, specifically just for a funny t-shirt in one of my stores. And I did all this right here. Inside. I, I, I changed all this from the original template, which makes it my creation. So that's one thing you do is do t-shirt uh, designs. Now, I could take those t-shirts these designs, add them to my shirts in my store, and then I need to get content for uh, sales, to, to generate sales, so I need content for social media, my website, whatever, I, or 
ads, I want to run an ad on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you like to run your ads, you can come over here to mockups and go to t-shirts. Matter of fact, I designed this inside place it and then uh, it's inside my Teespring store. Mm. What you do is you just choose one of these down here and you just put a model on it and they're just pictures, all right? But maybe I want a video. These are these are pics. Or maybe I want a video. You could do videos as well. So let me just show you a few that I've done. Right, so this is just an image that I've created uh, with a design that I did for a wrestling team. And I put it on a hoodie, all right, with their colors. And they wanted the great hoodie. So I gave, you know, I found this model inside Place It that I could use to put this on. And it's real simple to do. And what will happen is it will make more templates with this model and you'll see all this down here will populate with what it would look like with that model. Uh, but we could choose the hoodie color here. Say I wanted to change my hoodie color and I wanted to make it, oh, uh, geez, let's just pick one, purple. <laughs> no, you know, bam. It will change that color for me. Now that I, this is, these are images that you could use for promotion, but maybe you wanted a video. You could do apparel videos too. And I'll, like I said, I'll show you one that I've already done. This is a video that I created for the coffee mug right here that I have uh, from, that I have on Teespring. All right, so I wanted to create a video for the coffee mug and we'll, we could preview the video of what it looked like when I originally made it with, the, with this design on there. All right. So you can see I was able to make a uh, pr product mock-up for my coffee cup that I have right here. All right. Those are, only, those are not the only types of products that you can do. Like, so Teespring is not all about that. Say you have other products that you want to have designs for and mock-ups for, they got them. All right, so real quick, let me just show you some more of the different things that I've done with products inside here. So real quick, Let's find one. So here's a product that is on Amazon uh, that I created this um, video for real quick to see what it would look like. I was just kind of, uh, I was actually just messing around, I guess, learning learning how to use place it when I did, when I did this. And it, I was just literally messing around here. So we can, let's go ahead and render this. And, you, and if you want to change your music to any of this, if you click on this, You'll see they have hundreds of different of uh, non-copyrighted jingles and music that you can use for your video. So, I mean, you're not limited to the sound that's on that video. So, we'll preview this whole, we want to preview all the slides so you can see what it looks like together. Okay, so our video is rendered and we want to see what it looks like all the way. Let's go ahead and hit the button. There's also packaging mock-ups and uh, like for instance you want you have you know something you're selling that's in any form of fashion you have a gift bag you have that you want to design um, they have these gift bags in here you can design you got I mean, you see all these different products that you can put stuff on now let's say you're a uh, cause uh, I'm just gonna set this scenario up you have a cosmetics blog and you sell, you're an affiliate marketer for amazon.com and you try to sell cosmetic products. I'm just throwing it out there as just one example. There's hundreds of them. All right, so like I said, you, you sell cosmetics and you have, um, you know, and this week you're gonna talk about eczema, uh, you know, and what types of creams you wanna use for eczema. And you know, Avino has one on Amazon that you can go ahead and sell and get a commission for. So you you decided to write an article about Avino cream for eczema. So you wanna design your own product package. I'm just, you could do this for not only Amazon affiliates, you could do this for Shopify stores. I mean, it is, Really, it is the your imagination that is limited here on the different products that you can mock up inside. They have everything. Books, beanies, pillows, iMacs, iPads, MacBooks, iPhones, apparel, supplemented, garment only, packaging, hats, tote bags, 
tank tops, hoodies. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. All this stuff you can mock up inside here. So let's go ahead and do this one real quick. And I'm going to use one image um, that I, was, I, I got off of the uh, Amazon product. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did here. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so you can see there's a blank image. And I'm just going to add everything over here on the left by adding these images. All right, so let's go ahead and upload our first image. Okay, so once I have the image, I need to crop that in there where all I see is the words. And that looks pretty good. I, all right, and we'll hit crop. And you can see how that labels right around the tube. All right, well, I know that the Avito cap is blue. So I'll change my cap right now to blue, the blue I think it is. So there we are. All right, and then I want to finish the box up. And I'm going to use the same image. Now, you can use different images. Uh, I'm just showing you. You could use the same image as well. If you can't find multiple images, it, it's quite easy to crop it and make it look nice. And that's how I can make product mock-ups for people to make money with on play, from with, with using Placeit and sell it on Fiverr. Again, another thing you can do. Um, it just goes on and on. Uh, the videos you can create on here are amazing. Um, I've showed you some already. Uh, you can make things, uh, all the overlays and panels and everything people need for Twitch and YouTube. Um, you can make intro videos. Um, uh, so instead of keep going through all of the things you could do here, which is amazing, you could do a ton of stuff. You literally get into side place that costs $14.95 a month. And I sell one gig for 15. <laughs> so, I mean, I sell one gig. I made back my monthly. I, I made back what I pay, charged monthly to use this thing. And it's so easy. So, without wasting any more time, let me just take you over to Fiverr and show you how I set up a gig uh, to make money with Placeit uh, in 2020 with Fiverr. Okay, so you can see here we're inside my Fiverr uh, account. Um, you, you see right here, here I am, that's me, I, my pretty face. And you can see I have one order that's active that I'm uh, working on completing right now. I have three days and four hours to get it done, but I'll have it done by the end of the day, I'm sure, for $45. So you can see that I do actually make money on Fiverr by using the methods uh, of creating videos. Uh, basically, I create a video inside Fiverr to... Um, get sales so let's look at the gig that i created from place it to what that video looks like so let's just go look at the that gig real quick so you can see here here's the here's a gig i created uh using nothing but place it and it's called i will design your logo and add it to an intro video and here's the video and here's how i have it laid out with spaces like i'm writing a blog post you know where people could easily read uh my information about my gig you don't want to have just a paragraph clumped together. Um, people won't read that. You have to give them spaces so their eyes can um, flow easily. And you see here I have uh, 87 reviews, and they're all five-star reviews. All right. I have been a member since April 2014, but it's only been about 2018 that I started selling things on Fiverr. At first, I was just a buyer. <laughs> so uh, let's go. I'm going to show you this video uh, what it looks like so you can see uh, the type of video you can upload to Fiverr to get sales and this, the clips of this video were created all inside place it so let's go ahead and take a look I will create amazing logo designs and add them to a short video that you can use as an intro check out this video of some of the designs that I can create for you
All right, so, I mean, I don't know how much I have to show I showed you quite a bit of things you can do is to create a gig and for Fiverr using Placeit. So, how to make money with Placeit in 2020? Create a gig in Fiverr. I could do anything I want with Placeit when it comes to designing videos um, for intros or products. You can do teaser videos. Um, you can do Instagram story videos. You can do social media posts. You can create Facebook ads. You can design t-shirts. You can uh, design product mock-ups. I mean, it goes on and on and on with the things that you can design a gig for to make money with Placeit. So how to make money with Placeit? Go get yourself a Fiverr account. Again, thanks for uh, watching uh, another episode of Just Sean. And if you liked the video, please comment and like and subscribe. Yeah, just click, click, click. All right, thanks, guys. Oh!